All right, hello everybody. This assignment should be easy and fun. Please make sure you've watched the Glorious Midi Unicorn video. The video is amazing by Andrew Huang. In his video, Andrew's using what's called a MIDI piano roll interface, or just call it the piano roll. Now the piano roll is a lot like our song maker interface, but you notice there were a lot more notes and there was no colors. Song maker is a nice way to learn the piano roll interface. Your assignment is to make a visual composition. Just like in the glorious MIDI unicorn video, I want you to make your own picture in song maker and turn it into a serviceable piece of music. Now, since we're focusing on the visual element, we have to let go of our expectations about what this might actually sound like to start with. First of all, let's get a nice big... You're going to want to go to settings right here. Change the length. Let's say eight bars. Beats per bar. Keep it at four. Doesn't really matter for our purposes here, but four is what we're used to for most music or three. No reason to change that now. Ah, split beats in two. Now this makes a huge difference in what you can do in, in the song maker. I want you to split it into four. Range is the next important setting. So you want your range to be as high as possible, which in this case is only three octaves. Our friend with the piano roll, Andrew, he had like a bunch. So hit check and you're good. Ah, uh, look at all the space you have to stretch out in here now. There's a lot of room to make your composition. All right, I'm not a very good visual artist, so I'm just gonna draw, I don't know, a, a, a monster. Swartz here, dog like monster. Maybe he's got eyeballs. And a mouth. Yeah, tentacles, because all monsters need tentacles. And looks sort of like a badly drawn spider blob. And then after him, we'll do a. Uh, it's going to be a robot. I am a robot. Here are my antenna. All right, whatever. That's embarrassing. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. And you might want to know how to do this too. The tempo of a song you should know is how fast it is. So if you move the tempo up, it'll go faster and down, it'll go slower. All right. I think that sounded terrible. The kinds of decisions Andrew made in his video. Let's take a nice look at his unicorn. Now, you'll notice that the space between the notes is uh, always larger than one space. And you'll notice also that uh, this horn, you remember he had to make it go this way, sort of at an angle, because a big stacked bunch of notes never sounds good unless you're writing loud or modern music. If they're all on top of each other, it's going to be a wall of bad. Back to my picture here. The kind of thing I want to avoid is these walls of sound and notes stacked one on top of the other. So there is a way to make it sound good and musical. We're not going to learn how to do that today. Good. So I, I'm clearing up the, the garbage. My spider blob is going to look a lot less cohesive, but that's okay. I'm making sacrifices for the sake of music. Now let's see if my spider sounds any better, any more musical. Yeah, it sort of sounds like music. You know, all these repeating notes don't always sound good. And rather than too many repeating notes, maybe we could have a parallel line here. Let's put some phrasing in so it's not a constant barrage of sound. Little holes here and there are going to make it sound a lot better. It wants to end. There we go. And have lines of total silence. I feel like these breaks in the beats are going to give us some real musical integrity that we're lacking. I'm going to do this some more over here with my robot. Now the robot has a lot more vertical lines, which is okay. I've done about as much work on this robot and spider as I want to, and here's what it sounds like. It's not amazing, I'll admit. I'm going to switch over to piano.
And then I might want to, you know, create a beat. Let's see what it sounds like on the synth, because it's my favorite sound on here. And of course, once you've done your own, and you should do your own, you draw a nice picture, do a little composition, you're going to remember to please save, copy the link, and paste it into your class. Thank you, everybody. I look forward to hearing your pictures. Uh, you mean your music compositions. I mean your picture music compositions. Take the time to make the picture sound like something. Mine isn't very good, so you should be able to do something much better. Thank you.